So, good morning, YouTube. Uh, as you can see, we are not in my usual place today. Sorry about the background noise, but I'm sat in a lorry on the side of the road waiting for a friend because we're going to take this bad boy in to get it replated. It failed, unfortunately, on um, a rear sort of cross member that underneath the floor of the horse area. Um, I'm quite glad that failed on that because I wouldn't want to sell it if it wasn't safe for our other horses. So um, I've replaced that for brand new uh, and there were a couple of other little things which I fixed as well, which is now awesome. So hopefully this is going to fly for its plating and I'll be able to get it sold ASAP. Wait for the lorries to go past. Okay, so it's day 36. It's roasting, it's really humid. How am I feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, jumped on the scales this morning, 89.1 kilos. So I've lost more weight. I've seemed to have plateaued, like I said yesterday. Um, I can't seem to get through that 89 kilo mark. It's just the elusive 88. It's weird. It's kind of annoying, actually. It's really quite annoying because I know I can do it. Maybe it's just my body's having a one last laugh before it finally gives up and lets me uh, break through to the 88 kilo mark. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sort of teetering on the edge of 13 and uh, 13 stone, 14 pound, you know, sorry, that's 14, isn't it? 13 stone, 13. I'm teetering at that point there. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see 13 stone, whatever. Um, but I work in new money, so 89.1 kilos. I've got to lose 0.2 of a kilo, and I've broken into the 88s, and I'll be mega happy with that. I really want to see that this week. Anyway, as you would have seen last night, I had a lot of fun with Chloe making her super healthy pasta. I'm sure it's not called that, but we called it that. Um, we did put a link to the original recipe in the description because I'm not going to plagiarise someone else's work. Um, it was their idea and we just took it, altered it slightly to suit what we wanted. Uh, and Chloe loved it last night. She had it for dinner. Um, we made a batch of it. So I reckon there's probably a good two, maybe even three days worth of um, food there. So at least two lunches and another dinner, possibly. Although I don't want us to get bored. So I really want to switch it up. So I wouldn't really want to push it more than two days for school lunch. Um, but the other good thing as well is that she's getting to choose her snacks. Um, so she, like yesterday she chose apples with peanut butter and some mixed nuts and seeds again, uh, which she really loves, which is just awesome by the way, you know, she's making some awesome healthy choices. And I think because she got involved and helped out making the vlog and cooking, she's invested time and effort into that. So therefore she wants the results to be good because why would you waste time otherwise, right? Um, so I'm glad she likes it. Uh, I had a, a spoonful of it as well and it tasted delicious. Um, if I could do it all again, which I will be, um, I would use a better blender. Uh, I found it was a little bit too coarse, the sauce was. Uh, it would have been nice if there would have been a bit more creaminess to it. I think I've mixed up the tofu. I used firm tofu, whereas the recipe calls for silken tofu. I'm not sure if there's a difference with that, but it wasn't as creamy as I thought it would be. Um, and perhaps as well, the pasta was still slightly warm, although I'd, I'd run cold water all the way through it. Did it separate slightly? I don't know. So there's lots of, lots of things to think about there for the next time we do it. Uh, thank you to Helen for the recommendation of using, excuse me, there's a lorry going past. Sorry about that. Thank you to Helen for the recommendation of using hummus. Um, the next time we uh, make a pasta dish, mix some hummus through it and it makes a totally different dish altogether. I've got a great recipe for hummus, so um, I'm gonna be making my own hummus. To be honest, I'm gonna be making a lot of my stuff myself rather than buying in. I don't wanna buy any processed foods, even though it's healthy. Um, so hummus, peanut butter, um, I don't know, temper, you know, all these sort of things which you can buy in a packet, I'd rather make it myself. I don't know if it's cheaper to make it myself, 
but I certainly know it's it's going to be not necessarily healthier, but at least I know what ingredients have gone into my products. And um, I think there's so much satisfaction that can be had as well in making your own peanut butters, your own jams and whatnot. Um, I'm really keen to cut down the, the amount of refined sugars as well uh, that goes into my diet. Um, so, you know, I'll be looking at alternatives. So using maple syrups and sort of agave syrup, uh, agave nectar, sorry, and, and whatnot as a sweetener and some and dates. Dates are a fantastic option for sweetening. In fact, I've got a really good recipe for, um, I don't know if you call it flapjack. Um, it's like, um, it's like an energy bar type thing full of loads of seeds and and whatnot and cheer I think there's cheer in it and what anyway they're amazing um, when I first became interested in veganism a long time ago I found that recipe first it was one of the first recipes I ever found and I like the idea of not baking any other food you know I wanted to go raw at the time I'm not so sure about raw now but that was a, an awesome product that I made um, just like an energy bar. I could have made it into like energy balls, like little sort of energy balls, but I like the idea of making them into little bars and wrapping them up in little parcels, you know, of uh, brown paper. Uh, and they were great to take to work and uh, my family loved them. So I'm definitely gonna start making um, energy bars and everything again. Um, obviously the key to this one though, this diet going forward, I'm gonna stop calling it a diet by the way, it's a lifestyle choice going forward. Step two, onwards it's just all about the lifestyle choice step one is is the jump start should we call it um so this is where i'm getting the jump leads out and i'm giving myself a job get myself into a position where my body is craving food and i start giving it what it wants but i start giving it the good stuff rather than the refined horrible processed rubbish that's out there um anyway i'm gonna cut it short there guys and i'll catch up with you later on because my friend's coming now and we're gonna go and get this bad boy plated Catch you in a bit. Cheers.